This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday morning, the 25th of January. James Spann here, getting set for a calm beginning to the week after some active weather over the weekend. Let's peek out the window early this morning with the Skycam Network. That's you coming from Tuscaloosa. Looking back off to the west, it's clear and cool. We'll go way down south. That's a big boat. The battleship USS Alabama in Mobile Bay. That's clear down there and way up north. There's a look at the Decatur Skycam. Well, there's a big trough developing over the east. That's a whopper, and that will make it noticeably cooler for the first half of this week. The storms we dealt with yesterday are well to the east and way down south over south Florida. And yes, it is turning colder. The uh, cold air just beginning to move in here. You can see single-digit cold, in fact, a sub-zero cold back out west and up north, and uh, temperatures for the first half of this week will be a bit below average. And again, around here, the cold air just beginning to arrive. You can see the difference. You've got uh, Haleyville at 36, Aniston at 47. And as the cold air advection continues today, temperatures will not rise all that much. It looks like highs will be in the low 50s for most spots today with a, a partly sunny sky. Here's our watch warning map. Awfully mess, uh, messy off to the east with flash flood watches over a large part of the northeast. A... Uh, Wind advisory for parts of Mississippi and Arkansas and up north, a blizzard warning for parts of Montana and North Dakota, but mainly wind advisories up there. Here's our uh, QPF chart, expected rain for the next five days. This is suggesting rainfall amounts of about one inch here late this week, and that would be Thursday night into Friday. And the heavier rains off to the east, that's really what happened over there last night. Let's look at it. Here's the modeling. This is the 06 GFS at noon today. There's the trough at 500 millibars. And that will deliver colder air. 540 line drops all the way down to near Mobile today. And that's a reason we're thinking temperatures will not rise much. If anything, they'll kind of stay steady in the upper 40s and uh, low 50s. Tomorrow, we should start the day uh, at or below freezing. We'll wind up with a high close to 50 with a good deal of sunshine. And Wednesday will be a sunny day. Again, early Wednesday morning will be close to freezing. Uh, the high Wednesday should be in the uh, low 50s. And Thursday, here comes your next trough. Notice the two distinct streams there. A trough in the southern branch over west Texas. Down below that, rain breaks out and snow over the Texas panhandle and maybe parts of north Oklahoma. Uh, but rain over uh, Dallas-Fort Worth and Texas. Thursday during the day, more than likely we stay dry. Thursday night at midnight, the rain begins to advance into west Alabama, still the heaviest rain off to the west. And then uh, Friday at noon, Heaviest rain beginning to shift on down to the south of here. So uh, perhaps the uh, biggest window for rain with this feature will be from midnight Thursday night until 12 noon Friday. And pretty cold back behind that. And there's a look at Saturday, and that looks like a pretty cold day. A, dig, a big trough digging down across the deep south and cold air advection. Uh, looks like highs only in the 40s on Saturday with a very chilly north wind. Uh, but it does look like a dry day. And Sunday, we'll probably start the day below freezing, wind up uh, at 50 or so Sunday afternoon. And a week from today, Monday of next week, should be uh, warmer with uh, rain breaking out to the west, which means rain probably knocking on the door. And by the way, that's the 1st of February as we kick off a new month. Uh, let's go out deeper. This is the 9th of February. And uh, again, this run not suggesting any severe Arctic cold. Uh, look, we do have a trough over the east, and some cold air could get down in here, but that just looks wet. And again, as we peek at the Arctic Oscillation, maybe that was a head fake. You see that strong negative spike around the 1st of February, and then it trends back toward neutral. doesn't go neutral. It stays negative, but uh, uh, we'll see. The, the pattern seems to favor cold air, but the operational GFS and this GFS Arctic Oscillation outlook doesn't look all that bad, so... We'll just have to wait and see. I still say we have a long way to go this winter and plenty of opportunities for cold weather in the days ahead. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith.
sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.